Hi everyone! Today I am going to be spilling the tea on Glam Glow's Activated Charcoal Super Mud Mask. Now, when I saw pictures of people using this product in videos, I was so inspired to try it myself that I just went ahead and made the tea purchase. Um, I do not usually do face masks. I actually have terrible skincare routine. Um, for me, I honestly literally wash my face with water and sometimes I'll use a toner and that's about it. And I battle acne, it's horrible. So I just wanted to hop on this bandwagon, give it a try, see what it was all about. Um, and yeah, so I tried it. So I purchased the um, 1.7 ounce bottle. Um, it looks like this. And if you open it, Ooh, I gotta take this part off, but it just, it's like a wet looking, basically, it's a mud mask. What else can you say? Um, it smells like almost minty, like tea tree or something like that. Like it has like a, like a very distinct smell, but it's not bad and it's not super strong. Um, and it's not very acidic that it's like burning your nose when you smell it. So... Um, having it on my face for super long did not bother me at all. Um, so like I said, I purchased the 1.7 ounce uh, package. Um, it was $59. I got it off Sephora. Um, they do offer a larger one. It's about 3.5 ounces, I think, and it's about $82. So I, like I said, have not tried mud masks before. So I just wanted to go ahead and you know, try the smaller option first to see if I liked it. So here I realized I forgot to totally put the camera on as I was applying the first uh, little bit of the product. So I got halfway through um, and you could just see me trying to evenly spread the product out as much as possible. Um, I went a little overboard and put it all in my eyebrows and my hairline, which was totally not cute, but it was easy to apply. It felt cooling on my face and refreshing, and I was satisfied. So here I am taking off the product. The box directions say just use a warm washcloth to remove it. And it came off pretty easily so I just am trying to wipe it off there wasn't any difficulties removing it it pretty much came off like with one swoop motion I didn't have to do a lot of scrubbing on my face which saved me like a lot of irritation in the long run Yeah, so I tried it on and it was so refreshing and it didn't hurt. So I, I mean, I would highly recommend it. Um, I was a little nervous at first when I was wiping it off because I kept it on for the full 20 minutes and a part of me wanted to keep it on longer because I usually do not, I don't have a skincare routine, like I said. So I was expecting the worst. I was expecting like... I don't know, like Freddy Krueger's like face, like a melting off my face, like when I went to go clean it off. So I was like, oh girl, this only says 20 minutes. Should I keep this on longer? But I didn't, I didn't because I didn't want it to harden and me have a really tough time cleaning it off because then I'm not experiencing the product the way that it's telling me how to use it and I don't want to give it a bad review if I'm not even using it properly. So I just kept it on the 20 minutes and I had no issues whatsoever wiping it off. It literally came off like with the wet washcloth, no problem at all. And I honestly wasn't expecting to notice a difference when I took it off, but I did which was super surprising because I nothing affects my temperamental face. But with this, I was like, oh my God, girl. Glam glow, glam glow. I had a glow and I can't say that like ever.
I usually never have a glow unless I am putting my highlighter on my face. I never have a glow. And with this, I was like, oh my God, it's happening. I was like having a full on moment here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still had my acne scars, but even they looked so much brighter than I've ever seen them before. I usually have very hyperpigmented acne scars. And with this, I was like, oh my God, they're so much lighter. It was so great. I loved it. I loved it. So I would definitely, I'm going to start incorporating this into my beauty routine a hundred percent. I, I don't know if I'm just like in heaven over masks in general because I don't try them or, or if I'm just, I picked the right one to try first because this totally blew me out of the water. I'm so satisfied with how it turned out and I just feel like I just look so much brighter, so much happier than I did before. I don't know if half of that's in my imagination because I tried this, you know, $59 product <laughs> or, you know, I'm actually seeing results and I only tried it once. So I am pleasantly surprised. I highly, highly recommend you try this product. Um, you know, stay tuned for more product reviews that I'm going to be doing. Like I said, I really want to establish the skincare routine that'll work for me, that I can stick with, that won't be painful, that I can just calm down this acne and hyperpigmentation on my face and just be glamorous. Glamorous. You know, I would walk around outside with like tinted moisturizer on my face and be like, oh my god your skin it's so great no one has ever told me I've had great skin because I just don't so I'm excited to go on this journey of having a healthy skincare routine and I'm really excited for you to come along with me and I hope you know any advice that you have please please give it to me like I said I have super sensitive skin you know trying like I've had Epiduo I've had Targadox pills that I've tried with my acne and oh, sis, it ain't good. <laughs> it ain't good. <laughs> so if you have acne and sensitive skin and you found cleansers, serums, you know, more masks that I can try, I would love to try them. I would love to review them. So, you know, give me any advice you have um, and yeah, maybe we can share ideas. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you stay tuned for my next one. Thanks. Bye.